Hi, this is Anthony, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to add a watermark to your videos and explain to your video creator. You may want to add watermarks to your videos if you're creating videos for your clients, for example, in order to ensure you get paid. So first off, you will require the Explain to Your Watermark Maker app, which can be purchased separately. It's available as a separate app or as a bundle or a combo, for example, the tool belt that has five different apps. You can check the link in the description section of this video. So with the Watermark Maker app, you can create an image watermark in the section right here. And just below, it allows you to also create a text watermark. So let me show you how. All right, so I am in Explain to Your Watermark Maker. And um, like I mentioned, you can create both image and text um, watermarks. And I'm going to show you, uh, I, in fact, I'm going to create um, in this example, I'm going to create both an, an image and text uh, watermark, both in one. So this very top section right here is for images. So you click this button that says load image, and then just choose the image that you want to load. I'm going to choose this one here. And you'll notice that it brings it right up top. You can just drag and drop it wherever you want it. You can also increase the size by you know, using these handles. And uh, you notice this little arrow uh, button right here. You can just click on it and then change the orientation as well. The other thing you can do with um, with this is um, write this uh, right on this slider here where it says ima image opacity. You can drag the slider and you'll notice that it's making it transparent, right? So you can leave it that way. If you want to just put it at the bottom, you can do that um, like this. And uh, down below here, you can add a text. So you click this add text, and you can see it creates a text field or a text watermark that you can change this, of course, and just say whatever you wanted to say. Let's say watermark, and then it works in the same principle. You can uh, change the size by just dragging the slider. Okay. And again, dragging and dropping, you can use this little arrow button to change the orientation and use the slider again to change the opacity. Okay, so once you've done that, and let's just say you're satisfied with this, or maybe, you know, we can even do this here. Right, we can do it this way. I mean, whatever works for you. Okay, let, let's do it this way. And once you've done that, obviously you can choose the size of the image, as you can see right here. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it as is, uh, just for this example. And down below, right here, where it says project, uh, you will you will see two little um, options here: save as, save and save watermark. Um, open, save, and save as really pertain to the project. As in, you, if you use a save or save as, it's going to just save this project. But if you want to save the watermark to be used on a video, you have to click this one. Uh, I'm going to just skip this um, saving this project. I'm just going to save this as a watermark. So I'll click the Save Watermark. And then you need to basically uh, log in using your Explained Your Video Creator login information. And then choose the folder and uh, just give it a name. Let's just uh, name this uh, Test Watermark and then save the file. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Then what we need to do is uh, we need to go into Explaindio and apply this to an Explaindio project. Okay, so I am in Explaindio now and as you can see I have um, opened one of my projects. This is a short project, 58 seconds long, and I'm going to apply that same watermark that I created to this video. So what you want to do is click this Create Video button and then just choose uh, the folder where you want to save it. I'm just going to choose my video folders and explain to you and then select folder. And then in this section right here, just check this watermark, then click this add watermark button and then go and pick up that watermark that you saved. Okay, ours is right here. I think we call it test watermark and it's right here. And then once you've done that, you will see the file has been loaded into the section right here. And then all you got to do is start export. And then just give it a name. 
I'm going to again save it in my explain to folder and just name this you know test watermark video and then I'll save it and then it'll start uh, you know the export process this may take a little while and once it's done I'm just gonna play that video so you can see you know what that video looks like with the watermark So I hope that was helpful. You can find many more explained to your tutorials on my YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers for now.